Hi friends, in this video I am going to show how to take seed as an explant and to induce callus. So if you have seen my previous tissue culture related videos, I have shown various tissue culture experiments like taking leaf as an explant and inducing callus or it can be like taking seed for the in vitro germination and how to obtain shoots from the seed or the cell suspension culture like this. So many videos I have done related to tissue culture. If you have not watched it, I will put the link in the description. Please do watch it. Now in this video what I am going to do is I am going to take the seed and I am going to cut that seed and I am going to use that seed as an explant to be more precise cotyledons as my explant. So before moving on to it what and all are the parts or the regions that you can take for callus induction. So if you take a seed or if you take a plant itself you can use any part for this callus induction or for any tissue culture related process. So usually we germinate the seeds in vitro or in vivo outside the lab or inside the lab in tissue culture we germinate the seeds. So I made a detailed video how do we surface sterilize it, how do we germinate it, what are the different types of uh, media that we prepare for different types of seeds. So all those things complete video I have given, I will share the link in the description. Please do watch it. Even in a seed, you can break open the seed and you can remove the seed coat cotyledons and you can just take the embryo and you can inoculate it. I will make one more video also for embryo culture. So that is also one method or what you can do is you can cut the seeds and you can take the cotyledons and you can place it on the media that will produce callus or when you can give uh, you can keep the seed for the germination. Then when the shoots, when the epicotyl region and hypocotyl region is coming, you can take the epicotyl and you can also induce callus or shoot from the epicotyl, from the hypocotyl or from the radicals, you can also induce the shoot. And once the first leaf come, they, they are called as cotyledinary leaves. So you can take the cotyledinary leaves also as an explant. And after cotyledinary leaves appears, true leaves will start to come. So the foliage you can be seen. So you can take the true leaves also as an explant to produce the callus. So these are the wide options that you can take. You can take any region of a seed or any region or any part of a plant to induce callus. Now in this video I am going to take this seed as an explant and induce callus. So for that what is required? First is the seed that you are going to do. The seed is required and it follows the same method of surface sterilization. So here I would like to give you some tips. If your seed is very hard and compact like my seeds, it is uh, good to leave it for, uh, you can leave it for soaking for 24 hours. So I kept my seeds for 48 hours in water and I used to change water every day. So two days, even overnight, I kept, I soaked it in water so that the tissues will absorb the water and the tissues will be imbibe and they will swell up and it becomes soft so that I can cut them, I can chop them in the lap chamber or else if the seeds are very hard, if the cotyledons are very hard, it becomes very difficult for me to chop or to take the section of the seed. So you can soak it in water depending upon the nature of the seed, the hardness of the seed, you take a call whether you have to soak it for 24 hours or just 5-6 hours or 48 hours, so 2-3 to three days after that what I am going to do is, if you soak it for 2-3 to three days what happens, the seed coat can be peeled off easily. So I just squeezed it, the seed coat came off and next I followed the normal surface sterilization process. This also I made a video so go do watch that. So I gave a thorough rinse with soap water for 15 minutes then I washed it with tap water 2 to 3 times such that all the so soap traces are removed. Then I Okay, uh, then I kept uh, I treated with 2% sodium hypochlorite for 8 to 10 minutes. It depends from plant to plant nature of the seed to seed. So based on the literature survey and all those things, you take a call how much, what is the duration that you have to keep for sodium hypochlorite, for the mercury chloride and all those things. So for my plant, I am keeping it for 8 to 10 minutes. I washed it with sodium hypochlorite. This should be done in lab. So soap and uh, tap water can be done outside the lab. After rinsing properly in tap water, I am bringing it inside the lab chamber and I am thoroughly washing with 2% uh, sodium hypochlorite for 8 to 10 minutes. Then I am washing with sterile distilled water for 2 minutes. I am giving 2 to 3 washes. Then after that, I am going to treat it with 0.1% mercury chloride for 1 minute, 2 minutes. Depending Again, this also varies depending on the plant that, that you are working on. Then after 1 to 2 minutes, again I washed it with sterile distilled water 2 minutes each for 2 to 3 washes. Then after that what I am going to do is, I am going to take a seed and I am going to chop it. I am going to take section and each section I am going to place it on media. Now again, you have two different type of media. This is normal basal media. This is done in phyta jar. Either you can keep it in phyta jar or you can make a slant out of test tube and you can place it over here. It is according to your convenience. 
Now again in this media, there are two types of media. This is normal basal MS media without any hormones or any other additives. While as this is my activated charcoal, same MS media with activated charcoal. Usually the seeds will be having lots of phenol and phenolic exudates will be there. As soon as I chop it, and I, uh, the tissue becomes browning in color. And when I place it over here, what happens? The entire media becomes brownish black in color. That is all because of the phenolic exudates that is being released from the seed tissue shoe so what happens so whenever i chop it it plant things plant assumes that there is an injury and to protect itself what happens phenols are released we all know phenols are secondary metabolite it is a major secondary metabolite so whenever there is an injury lots and lots of phenols and alkaloids are released especially the seeds are rich in phenols and in my seeds it is completely filled with phenolic acids only phenols so to avoid the browning of tissue browning of media what happens why should i avoid it you might ask a question now so what happens when all the phenols are uh, released in my media media color changes it becomes brownish black and this does not allow the formation of callus this does not in uh, uh, this does not allow the shoots to germinate so whatever it is whatever process you're keeping it let it be for shoot regeneration or in vitro multiplication or for callus induction whenever the phenols are released out it hinders the other process it hinders the other growth process like callus induction division of cells growth of cells growth of tissues growth of shoot so for every Everything, all the metabolic activity stops and after a few weeks the cells will die. So to prevent the browning of callus or browning of tissue and browning of media, I add activated charcoal. So if, when I add this activated charcoal, the media becomes blackish in color like this. So you can see all the activated charcoal settles over here. So the media itself becomes blackish. So you can see the difference between these two, right? Now, when I, what happens is, what is the role of activated charcoal? Again, concentration varies from plant to plant. Usually, we place from 0.3 grams to 0.5 grams per liter. When I'm preparing one liter of MS media, basal murashige schools basal media, I can add from 0.3 grams to 0.5 grams. I can add. Again, it needs to be standardized for whichever plant you're working. So here, I have placed, I have put 0.3 grams. If I put higher charcoal, it becomes even more deeper black in color. So what is the role of activated charcoal? We know that activated charcoal comes in face pack and it comes in face washes it comes in soap bars all those things because of its adsorbent properties so whenever we apply for face wash what happens our face pack all the pollutants and all the dust that gets trapped in our skin cells is adsorbed so activated charcoal has an adsorbent property same phenomena same principle is observed over here applied here also so all the phenolics are adsorbed by this activated charcoal and it will not hinder the other growth process and also do, keep in mind that don't sit relaxed thinking your activated charcoal will do the process and don't leave it for months together even though if you are adding activated charcoal the media needs to be subcultured every week so, so for example if I am keeping some callus over here or some tissue over here in this media again I have to change the media every week so that also depends upon plant to plant I change every week so after every week I change the media again with activated charcoal for 2 to 3 cycles I have to add activated charcoal after 3 to 4 cycles what happens I can use normal MS media then browning of tissues or browning of cells or browning of media will not be observed. So this is all varies from plant to plant. It needs to be standardized. So I keep for two to three cycle. After three cycle, I shift it to normal MS basal media. Browning will be reduced completely. There will be no browning of tissues. Here I can leave it for three weeks or four weeks depending on the experiment that I am doing. So this is all now in you to require the background information. So either you can make in the form of slant. In one slant, I can keep just one section I can keep. If I am using a phyta jar or jam bottles like this I can keep some five to six sections I can keep and I can transfer them so that is why we prefer this it has no surface area also now what is required to before moving on to is so all the media should be sterilized the instruments the forceps the scalpel blade everything needs to be sterilized the lab chamber should be wiped with 70 percent ethanol or spirit so surface sterilization should be done and wash your hands properly with soap and with spirit or 70 percent alcohol and enter into the lab and i will demonstrate you now how to take section and how am i going to place it so make sure everything is swapped with the 70 percent alcohol and also wash your hands properly Spray 70% all for your hands also. So this is the seed which has undergone all the surface sterilization process. And you will also need one petri plate. This also should be washed properly with alcohol. So I am taking one seed. 
and I'm placing it and I'm going to chop it here. So hold this seed properly. First you can cut it into half if it is very huge. And now you can take thin sections. I'll show you. So the thinner it is, the better. It is as thin as this. Show to the flame and open the cap. Let the mouth be towards the flame. So you have to gently take the seed and place it inside. And give a slight press. And again show it to the flame and close the cap. So this is the process if you are doing it in the test tubes when you make this slants. If you are doing it in this form of white jars, so this also open in the presence of flame. If there is any water inside, just decant the water. And here you can keep on going many slices like this. And give a slight press. I can keep it in one bottle. Again, it depends on the size of the seeds and all those things. I'm keeping six. I'm keeping far far. And slightly pressing it. So you can find here six pieces I have kept here in this fighter jars. So once all the seeds have been inoculated like this as an explant, you can keep it in the growth room and observe for the callus induction. So I said you right, the phenolic exudates will be produced. So it has just been 10 minutes that I cut the seeds. You can find the seed, it has become blackish. Observe the seed between this and this. So because of the phenolic exudates, exudates or the phenolic release, what happens? The seeds have placed everything becomes blackish in color. So that is the reason why we are going to keep it, going to use activated charcoal. So I can just show you one example where in the media how the media becomes brownish in color so you can see this media how the roots everything has become brownish because of the phenolic exudation so this is without any roots i mean without any activated charcoal and also the plant has died so because of the high concentration in the phenolics and the media plant cannot survive so this is the reason we add activated charcoal to the media so that it absorbs all the phenolics and it allows the plant to grow so again now we're going to keep this in the growth room where it is having 16 hours of light and 8 hours of darkness and the temperature is maintained around 24 to 26 degrees celsius and we are going to monitor them for the callus growth so this is 
this video completes over here taking seed as an explant to induce callus so i hope this video was very beneficial for you if it was beneficial and you liked it do give a thumbs up to this video and do share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more biology related content thank you